Coast. Welcome back to Heard It on the Axe, the East Coast premier music talk show. My name is Rich Rodemoser. We're listening to uh, a little Tommy Z there yeah. with a bunch of Buffalo musicians on the right. Oh, track. yeah, some great musicians on this track. It's called the Bailout Blues. I was, uh, I got a call to write a song for uh, for a Warner Brothers TV show. It needed to be a blues song. I guess the topical matter didn't, ne didn't matter so much. So I was watching uh, the news and... Uh, President Obama had just signed the second TARP stimulus package, and I said, who's going to bail out me? Yeah. So uh, so I wrote the bailout blues, and uh, I had some fantastic musicians play on it. Bobby Jones, who's just the Goliath musical legend Huge. around here, uh, played keys on it. Uh, Alan Kroll, fantastic musician, and uh, I've written a bunch of songs with, with uh, Alan, uh, played the sax parts on it. And Ray Hangen, who, um, who toured with... Uh, uh, the late uh, Sean Costello around the world uh, had also come through my band and um, just did a great job on it. A, a, a menagerie of Buffalo heavyweights on that. Yeah. You and Alan have done a lot together, though. You and Alan yeah. were in San Francisco at, at film festivals and you yeah, worked the for Florida together. Yeah, the yeah. California Independent Film Festival. We uh, we performed there a couple of years and I don't know if they had live music there last year, but uh, maybe we'll go again this year. So. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about that gig that we almost got to do together just recently. Then. Oh, uh, with yes. Alan, we, oh, had, that would have been fun. And Alan was building a band. It was a cra Alan's crazy to begin with. I love <laughs> it. It was crazy. I mean, do you agree? You yeah, know, yeah. He's, he, he's out of his he's mind. He's the good crazy, though. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, he's, but he's just... There's, just, yeah, he's there's so no, chill, there's no hard filter of hey, hardworking, busy yeah. musician. There's no filter of, hey, I can't do this because I'm busy with that or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, we're just going to do it because we're going to do it. I'm going to tell the story fast because it's... it's but I think this is just hilarious because we, he's... He, Alan's going to build a band because somebody, uh, one of his industry friends in, in Long Island is having a, a, a wedding and they need a band. So he starts putting this band together and it's like, it's it started out, I think it was, because Alan plays in my band. So I think it was our band and we were going to use Amy Frost, Dave Frost's daughter, and then... DJ he, on the drums. Yeah, so it was, it was going to be that. And then all of a sudden it grew to be like, you know... Every Buffalo music, we were going to need, like, two buses just to bring... It was like, Michael Hund was going to play guitar, and Bruce Decker was going to play keyboards, too. And I mean, it was, it At one to, point, there was, like, seven guitar players. At one point, Tom and I, honestly, God, we talked on the phone, and we're like, is this going to even work? I mean, how do, how do we rehearse this band, you know? And then the, the best part of the story is, Alan comes to... I think he came to me and Tommy. We all, we all met at the Fair Trade um, reunion thing. Yes, on Ever Road. So, so we're going to have a meeting of the minds, and, we, you know, you got Alan, who's insane and had like a triple triple from Tim Hortons <laughs> that day and he's he says he's got a song list of like 80 songs oh, or yes. something remember it's yes, like uh, from Nickelback to uh, <laughs> it was like oh, yeah it was Ryan like Adams Bon think. Jovi oh, was on there you know? yeah. yeah it was like wow and then Frank Sinatra it's, yeah. it's, well Al you know maybe we should gear down a little bit you know but I wish that band would have maybe we should do that here in Buffalo sometime um, you travel a lot a lot you're still touring a lot and doing things yeah you just got yeah. back from Florida I was just in Florida for a week playing with my uh, my good friend Tom Sartori who's uh, just I, I hold him in the highest of esteem as a, as a musician he's uh, doesn't get enough credit because he's so popular and uh, yeah uh, but he's a fantastic... He's a great entertainer. That's why he doesn't yeah. get credit for me. one of the best voices I've ever heard. He's one of my favorite singers. singers and, and his songs just stick in your head. His, his great songs. But anyway, we have a duo uh, that we uh, kind of temporarily call the Tommy Boys. And uh, we played uh, temp, the, the Tampa Hard Rock Casino a couple nights and, and some other locations around Florida, Boca, Raton, uh, Orlando, and then back to Tampa again. So and then Tom's coming back to town like he does periodically, and we're going to do a show at Desiderio's, I think, where uh, it's going to be just all Christmas music from like the 16th through the 20th, I believe, of December. Don't quote me on that, but if you want to check. No, but you know what I would love? If, if you guys have some time, if you would come in and maybe just do something in studio oh, yeah. for us, that'd be yes. great. Yeah, I think he'd love to do that. Yeah, that would be that would be awesome. And, and Tommy's another, and you know, uh, uh, like you say, you got you got to talk about Tom Sartori because he, he doesn't get the credit he deserves, and he's, oh, he's, he's a great entertainer. Rich, he's, he's a guy that I think uh, has just eluded superstardom f uh, for some reason because he really has that quality about him. he just got this magnetic, warm, lovable um, it, personality but that's it's also you know part of his musical personality too he's just he's just great right right and he's 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 
parlayed his talents into quite a. I mean, he's up here for the summer. He's down there for the oh, winter. Yeah, that's great. Kind of nice mean, thing going. It's almost like he's a snowbird musician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he does the Sunset Bay thing every uh, Sunday, and we did that all summer. Oh, in the summer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's fantastic. 